I came here today to pray for the end of abortion, and I came with my family. No, I've been here before. I almost didn't go. I wanted to go. I was, like, begging Dad to go. He's like, it's going to be cold, and it's a school night. Yeah, we have to wake up early in the morning, like 5 in the morning. <sighs> and then we have to go to 7 o'clock mass at church, and we get home, start school, and then do school all day. And then tomorrow I have Irish step dance. Yeah, I, I come every year, or whenever I get the chance to. Whenever my parents let me, that is. My favorite part, I like to hold the candles, and uh, I also like to walk and stuff. Thank you. Bye. Hi, I'm Pam. I'm from St. Patrick's in Mystic, and I want to just let so many people know that I have come across so many women my age who have made a choice many, many years ago, and now they've had to live with this choice. It's sad, it's very hard, and I, once the deed is done, it can't be taken back. It's something you have to live with for a long time, and I wish that everyone would think of their choices and know that there is so much better choice, something that you really can live with. Thank you. Hi, I'm Terry Ryan. I'm uh, from St. Andrew Parish in Colchester, Connecticut, also from the Francis Cardinal Spellman Council of the Knights of Columbus. As you probably all know, the Knights of Columbus is a very pro-life organization. We've uh, organized as many people as we could to get out here as representatives of Catholic men to preach the gospel using words when necessary, especially when it comes to pro-life issues. Um, we have to take a stand in the public forum. This is our mission. This is why we're here. As we always say in our Pledge of Allegiance, we say at the end, for the born and the unborn. So this is why we are for the rights of all, those that are born and those that are unborn. And we participated last year. We participated this year. We will continue to participate as long as necessary for this cause. And we will not be silent. We will speak for those that cannot. Thank you. Hello, my name is Father Tony DeMarco. I'm the assistant uh, priest stationed at two parishes, St. Morris in Bolton and Sacred Heart in Vernon. And we're down here at uh, 12 K Street, front of Planned Parenthood in Norwich. And we're doing the candlelight vigil, which is ending the 40 Days for Life here at 12 K Street in Norwich, part of a nationwide 40 Days for Life spreading through over 170 cities. And um, this is our second year in Norwich. And I'd like to thank everyone who participated in the 40 Days for Life, who did an hour, and of course, uh, many people did many more than one hour down here. And I'd like to thank everybody for being a witness for life. And I just ask each and every one of you to pray for those moms right now who are pregnant, those moms right now who are considering whether or not to have their babies. Please pray that they make the right choice and decide to have their babies. They want to give it up for adoption, that's great. If they want to keep the baby and then raise it, that's great. But just please pray for them that they make the right choice and choose life. And that's what we're really here about, that we're praying for the moms and their babies <coughs> that they may decide to choose life. And I'd like to thank the friars here for being out here in the, on this cold night. I'd like to thank everybody else here. We have many people here praying the rosary here late at night, and it's... Uh, after the uh, 11 o'clock hour, and we're still out here, we're going mid all the way to midnight because we've been out here for 24 hours a day, seven days a week for 40 days. So we're taking it all the way up to midnight. I'd just like to thank everyone for being here and uh, everyone keep praying for us as we continue. And this is a year-round cause. We'll continue to pray for pro-life, pray for the moms and their babies, pray for everyone to choose life. And uh, just ask each and every one of you to keep up the good work and continue to pray for those moms who are considering life.